Hello everybody, how you doing? Now I said, how you doing? Yay! We are here for the Mega Make and Take Extravaganza. Uh, the first mini one, the first one for the at home edition at Stamp and Scrapbook Expo. Uh, normally we do this with a great big crowd in front of us and I know there's a big crowd out there. I just can't see you all. And I really do miss that, I'd have to say, because I do love seeing everybody. So we are gonna make this Cutout Blossoms card, which I'm gonna show you here in just a moment. Machine. So this is the Big Shot Express. Um, we actually have a show special on here, a virtual event for normally $229.99 for only $169.99. You get the machine and you get this multi-purpose platform. So you get the bottom layer here, where you can do all your embossing, 3D embossing, your sizzlets and other things. And then you also get your extended thin die adapter on the top of it, so you can cut all your thin dies and framelits and other companies' thin dies as well. And so what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna show you how to actually do the cutting on here for your card. So. This is kind of a treat for me because normally we can't demonstrate this at the Mega Make and Take Extravaganza because there's so many people and you all wouldn't be able to see me. So this is kind of a real treat for me to be able to kind of show you some of the things um, that we do ahead of time. And then so you'll actually get to kind of understand a little bit how this all works. Now with your machine, this is the die set. You're gonna get all three of those inside your die set here, which I've already showed you. And this is the 664161. This is the Cutout Blossoms uh, from Sizzix. And so we've already got our cardstock pre-cut and we're gonna be showing you the dimensions of everything too. And these are the magnetic sheets as well. We're showing you and then the stamp storage on the back of it. And this is the die set right here. So you get all three of these in the set, but this is the one that we're going to use. So when you use this set, you're also gonna get, well, with the machine, you're also gonna get two clear cutting pads. Now these ones are the glitter ones. I like using the glitter ones a lot because then I can actually find them on the table. And so you're gonna put your cardstock down. You're going to put your die down however you want it um, to be. You know, you can turn it in any, any, any way that you want to. And so I'm gonna put it on here just like this. Now, we actually have this uh, markers tape you can actually put this little markers tape on there just to kind of hold it in place. Um, or you can actually use the magnetic platform. Um, we can do that too. And so there's a magnetic platform that you can get for your machines. Now this one is the Electric Express Big Shot machine. And it has the regular six, six inch wide opening just like the Big Shot does. Now I'm gonna run this two, uh, through two times just to make sure that all the little pieces cut. Now you can also use the chrome precision plate. So if you have detailed dies that you want to use, oops, it's all coming out there already. It's all popping off there for me. So you can see here, I'm gonna set the machine over just a little bit. This is the die brush and foam pad with the magnetic bottom. So when you put the magnetic bottom on, you set it down, then you put the die brush on top of it and just give it a good push down. Make sure you're on a surface that in case you slip or miss, it's not gonna damage your surface. Um, but you get all these pieces. Now what you can look at is you can see if all these pieces have been cut or not. And if you can see them on the back, then it looks pretty good. If you can't, um, we're gonna use the chrome precision plate and I'll show you that here in a little bit. So if you have those really delicate, intricate dies that are kind of finicky, that you feel like you gotta run it through a whole bunch of times, then you might wanna consider getting the chrome precision plate. Now, I'm just gonna kind of poke out, just make sure all the little, little pieces are popped out of there and it did just a beautiful job. And so you don't have to worry about just sitting there poking every single piece out of it to put it together. But that is just how easy it is to actually cut out the cut out blossom. Okay, so now we're gonna cut the happy birthday. And this is the one from Karen Bernison. This is the die that you get in, this, in the die set. And it's just a really pretty elegant birthday. And so it's all one piece. Let's get that off there. It's all one piece when you get it. And also on the back of the card, it has a place for you to um, go ahead and put your, your die down. So you can put those in your little envelopes if you'd like. And so we just take like the little scrap pieces that we have. 
that are left over and you can be pretty frugal on your paper. And again, I'm gonna run this through. It's a push button. You can stop and start as you like. You can check your time. You can look around. You can take a drink while this is going through. And a little bit of an angle. That way you don't get the, I call it the speed bump when it goes through there. If you do things straight with straight lines, it kind of gives it a little thump, a little hump. So if you just kind of turn it just a little bit, this one is a thinner paper. There's the die that just kind of came right off of there. And so it's a thinner paper, so it doesn't need to be gone through a whole bunch of times. But let me see if I can put it on the black here so you can really kind of see. I'll put it on that foam pad. This is the double-sided foil the double-sided foil. So it really kind of gives it that really beautiful, you know, kind of a, you know, the metallic kind of a rounded, rounded um, edges on there. And so that's a really pretty one too. So we hope you really enjoyed the project today. Um, you've got your coupon in your show special in your kit. So you definitely want to take advantage of that. And um, we are going to have those uh, dye brushes in there for you too. Thank you for joining us today. We are going to make the Cutout Blossoms card. And this is a really pretty card. Um, you got a picture there that was right before. And you also have a picture in your, um, in your program. So what I want you to do is I want you to get all of your pieces out. And I've laid these pieces out for you so then you can see what it is that you need. And I'm gonna give you a minute to get that ready. Um, but you should have your folded card, your layers, and then the front of your card, and the happy birthday, and then also your bling. If you want to add foam dots in between the layers of your card, um, I'd recommend that you go ahead and do that now, get those pieces out. Get yourself um, a good um, glue, you know, adhesive. And so we use the quick drying glue from Sizzix, and we also use the fine tip bottle uh, from Karen Burnison. It comes with the blue lid, the blue tip on there, and it's a really ultra fine for, for gluing down really her tiny little things, which is perfect. And then you can get an additional yellow tip on here. So then if you want to have a little bit more adhesive come through, um, then you can. So that's what we're gonna use today for the adhesive. The other adhesive that we used also, you know, is a good double-sided, um, this is from Elizabeth Craft Designs, good double-sided adhesive, and there's different widths that you can get, and I've already pre-stuck mine on there. So get all of your pieces together. Austin's die set at 664161. You get these three in here. And so what the great thing about those are, here it is on these little magnetic sheets, and I'll kind of go over some of the little um, pieces with you, but actually, let me just go ahead and do that now. So these are the envelope with um, magnetic sheets. So you get three envelopes, you get the magnetic sheets, and actually on the back side of this is actually, you peel this off here, protective coating. So if you have rubber stamps that have matching dies, then you can actually um, put them all together in one envelope. But these are the three um, die sets that you get. Now these dies don't just cut out the flowers and then you stick them onto your, your cardstock. They actually cut out into the paper. And so they're kind of like the, the mixed media ones, but they're just really, really beautiful. They're really simple um, ones to work with so for all of you that are joining us today, there's a lot of you that are, there's so many different levels of crafters and paper crafters and card makers. And so the reason why we chose this project is so that we could kind of accommodate everybody. So the ones that are just beginning, we could show you how to do something very simple. For the ones that have been doing it for a while, this is a great simple card. Um, that you can uh, make that make it look really elegant. And I have a few different samples of this card so you can kind of see. And, and for those of you that have been crafting for a very long time, you know, you, there's, there's no endless possibilities of what you can do um, with these die sets and card making. So let's get with it here. Okay, so I have the bone folder I'm gonna take out of here. 
And then I've also got the um, die pick and then the tweezers. And I think that's all the tools that I need right now. And I'm gonna put this back into the little standard. So the first thing that we're going to do is actually just fold your card in half. Um, it's already kind of folded in the packaging for you, but it's not like completely folded. And so there's a score line. This is an A2 size card. So it's scored down right in the middle. So when it's folded, it's four and a quarter by five and a half. Um, so we're gonna just fold this over, just match up your little edge, edges on there. And then we're gonna take the bone folder and just give it a really nice little crease. Um, I don't like to use the fingernails because then you get like a line in there. So the bone folders are really nice to just get right on in there. So now what you're gonna do is it's very, very simple. So I'm gonna kind of go through some of the pieces with you of how we cut that. And I'm gonna show that to you in just a little bit. Um, but we're gonna go ahead and go ahead and assemble the card. And so what you have is you have this layer that's gonna go on. Then you have this layer that's gonna go on top of that one. And then you're gonna have this layer that's gonna go on top of this one. And so I've already pre-done my adhesives that's on the back of it. For the big pieces, I just went ahead and used a double-sided adhesive which I'm gonna just use. You can use your tweezers or your die pick, you know, to peel off the, the backing on there. I don't know why, but I don't do well with my, my fingernails with that, so. And so four by five and a quarter. So it's four inches by five and a quarter. And so that's gonna layer right on top of here. So I put it on the, the cutting mat that we sell as well, so you can kind of see the different um, the measurements on this one. So this will be your next layer. So this is three and three quarters by five inches. And we're just gonna peel off the backing on this again. And like I said, you can use tweezers. Uh, Sizzix has this really nice tweezer set. We also um, sell the Sizzix die pick just really great necessity tools that you should have. And then we're gonna layer this on here. So it's actually very simple. This is actually a very um, beautiful metallic cardstock that we sell. And so it has kind of a linen, linen pattern on it. There's like a champagne and then there's a kind of a, a white, um, you know color on there and it's just really pretty now this one here is where the flower one was cut out of and that was this die right here Doo -doo -doo. i think it was this one i'll show it to you here in a second but that was the die that we cut this out of okay so this is the top piece here and this top piece actually measures in at, um, it's three and four and three quarters. And so when you put on your double-sided adhesive, you can either cut the pieces or you can just put it down and kind of tear it. I like to just do it this way. I've already got a couple pieces already on there. So you can kind of see how to put the adhesive on for any of you that are new to the good, strong double-sided adhesives. Don't go, Get a good quality adhesive. Um, there's a lot of lot of um, options out there, whether they're uh, liquid, double sided, but um, this is a good quality one here from Elizabeth Craft Designs. Okay, so now all we're going to do is layer it on top of the card. And like I said, you can put the foam dots behind it if you want. You could put different colors behind here if you want. Um, you could even make it into a shaker if you wanted to. That's another option um, that you can do with this die set. So it's actually really a simple one, but it's elegant in the same token. It's elegant in the same token. And now we're gonna put the bling on. And so um, these are little adhesive ones. These are from Island Outlet. And so sometimes what I like to do is just put it on my um, die pick and you can put them on where you want. These are self-adhesive. And so you should have five or six of them, probably. You should have five on your little 
on your little strip inside your bag. And sometimes the harder part of all of this is actually getting the little blingy off. Just kind of getting it behind there. And I think these little blings just really add a lot to the project. Um, if you wanted to add glitter, we sell uh, the glitter from Sizzix, uh, VZ Crafts. Oh, VZ Crafts is a very ultra fine glitter. The one from Sizzix is just a, a little bigger on there. And like I said, you can put these wherever you want. So we're just putting them on the on the outskirts of this card. So we went kind of monochromatic on this whole thing, which is kind of the same somewhat color schemes, not a lot of change in colors. Um, a lot of people complimented this paper, you know, this cardstock that we have. And now we also have the happy birthday. This one is from Karen Burniston, and it is the 1030 happy birthday, 103 happy birthday. And then this is the die set. So when you cut it out, it cuts it all into one, one big piece. So you don't have two little pieces, but if you did want to separate the words, an easy little snip at those little areas, you could definitely move it around and uh, put it where you want to. So what I wanted to kind of show now is, now what I wanted to show is the um, adhesive on here. So we had taken uh, some of this quick drying, uh, dries clear, the express glue from Sizzix, uh, 660691, and we put it into the bottle. That's how they come, is they come empty, and you could put your um, adhesive in there. Um, this one works really well in here. And so you want to make sure that all your little, these little, tags are sticking out that um, didn't get popped all the way through. Make sure that those are all out of there. And then with this adhesive, it's so nice. Let's get some going in there. I really like this adhesive um, from Sizzix. It's the quick drying glue from Sizzix, but I really like this um, applicator as well. Uh, there's different ways. There's also a little tip that goes inside of the tip so then a lot more can come out of it. Now this one, uh, we switched over into the blue lid on here. And so you can just see that just a little bit, look at that little bubble out of there. Just a little bit goes a long way, but see the nice little thin layer of adhesive that you can put on here. Let's see what's great is anyhow the little tiny pieces of Karen Bernison's. This adhesive works wonderful and has a real nice long tip on there. So if you have to kind of lift up your papers a little bit to get to the area that you want to put adhesive on, you have that flexibility without, you know, the applicator and that getting in your way. Now, when you're done with this, um, you wanna put this lid on here. Let me get my glasses going on there first. You wanna put that little needle back into the tip of it as soon as you get done because you don't want your glue to dry in that little, that little needle tip area there. So be sure that you do that right away. Okay, so now we're just gonna take our letter. And I like to take the, um, the tweezers so you can kind of see where it's gonna lay. Make sure it's all kind of within the card areas. And just lightly press down. And what you don't have is you don't have a lot of adhesive oozing out of the um, underneath your your word because that sometimes is annoying when you push something down and then it all kind of mushes out under there 
but this is a very basic, um, easy card with just some really elegant dies with it. So I really like this die set. Um, the 4166461, the cutout blossoms. Um, and so I'm going to show you some other samples here, real quick. And here's a couple samples um, of how you can kind of, you know, work with this one. This one, you know, has like, um, you know, kind of an iridescent underneath there. It's obviously not finished with, um, you know, words and all of that, but it has an iridescent uh, finish. So you could actually use that Renea paper. This one has actually got the Renea paper underneath it as a layer. So it's not only as a layer, but it's also behind the flower. So then it almost looks kind of like two kinds of papers that are underneath there. And you could do that with embossing and all of that too. The um, These ones are real fun. These ones have like these little little drop little little sparkles. Um, it almost kind of looks a little bit like a wink of Stella, and you've got a little bit of a glitter cardstock underneath there. And you could make your own cardstock with your double sided adhesive with your cardstock and the glitter. Just put it on there, peel it off, and put your glitter on there, and then you can make your own glitter cardstock. Now this is with two of the different flowers. That's real pretty, and with just really nice stamp sentiment as well. So you could do that too. That's the spring phrases, three, six, six, three, five, eight, seven. And then this one is, um, is also the spring phrases with the hello. And that's embossed with a black, um, that's a black embossing powder. Now Sizzix also has embossing powders too, which are just gorgeous and we carry them. So we carry the glitter, we carry the embossing powders, uh, the markers, they have permanent markers all of that stuff. So here we are again with the iridescent behind that, which is a little bit of ribbon, some fun layers. You can either use the, um, Karen Burneson has the stitch squares, um, the hash, uh, the um, cross hatch squares, which has a real good fun design. This one was actually just done with like a little pen, um, little micro pen on there and just a fun um, background. So these are just some fun ways of how you can use um, that die in just different ways. So we really hope you enjoyed this card. Think of all of the beautiful cards that you can make with these wonderful die sets from itscheaperthantherapy.com. Don't forget about our show specials and the amazing coupon code we're offering. Look at this other amazing show special that we have. We have the Maria Surprise Sizzix Scrap Box. For only $34.99, you get all of these goodies, normally $70 with the product, two glitter packs in yummy colors. You also get the coordinating sequence and beads sets, the new ones from Sizzix, the rubber stamp and die set, the thin lit set, the balloons, the textured impressions 3D embossing folder, and you also get a sampler pack of the textured cardstock with the sampler sandpaper so when you emboss it you can knock off the top edges of it. And then you also get one of the shaker, new shaker domes. And you get all of this for only $34.99. We are so excited to be here this evening for the very first mini make and take extravaganza hosted by Scrap, Stamp and Scrapbook Expo at Home Edition. This has been a wonderful event. We miss seeing each and every one of you at all of the shows. So we do welcome these virtual events so we can stay a little bit closer to you guys and so you can enjoy all of these wonderful products, crafting, designs, and samples. Thank you all so much. This is Maria C., the Sizzix Lady from itscheaperthantherapy.com. Have a wonderful, wonderful evening. Happy crafting!